Hey, it's Ted here. I'm in the diesel lab. My students are working on heat exchangers after coolers, um, removal and cleaning. It's major, so it's something that's really important in the diesel class that we cover. And I wanted to go over a couple of things we found. Uh, one of my small engine, uh, this was a warranty engine, um, and I'll show you what we found. So we're working on taking the heat exchangers and the after coolers off D4s, off three liters, um, doing the you know major components, finding the information in the service literature on partner network. So my students are learning all about how to take these apart. I've got another one working a little D130 here. It's a warranty engine taking the manifold um, and the heat exchanger apart over here. So here's where we're getting those plastic end caps, showing them how to take things apart without breaking them. Um, being careful about their, you know, techniques. And then uh, we're about ready to pull this uh, heat exchanger core out. And I said, well, you gotta take the other end cap off so we can get the core out. So um, I wasn't sure the history of it, but when he pulled this end cap off, he's interesting enough. What we found inside was we found impeller pieces. So there are three pieces of an impeller that are in here, which would be, if you can see this, it would block off a tremendous amount of the passageway here for the heat exchanger core. So it's really imperative when an impeller fails, and I stress this, that we go and we find those impeller pieces, and obviously somebody did not do that on this engine. Um, that same engine I'll just show you over here is a D130 complete. We have a runner. Um, this one from the raw water pump comes up, goes right into that cavity, and you can see that cavity was about that big. So all they had to do was just take this hose off and look in there with a flashlight, and they would have seen those pieces. Um, they wouldn't even have to take that end cap. You could reach in there probably and pull them out with a pair of needle nose or a pick tool. So just, you know, a technician being sloppy for an overheat and a loss of an impeller. Um, just something to stress when I go over this in class again. So just a, you know, short one here for um, what some of the service procedures we're teaching here in the diesel class. Uh, gets pretty elaborate. Great class. I love to teach this class. Um, hope to see you. If you got any questions, feel free to call the college, 401-739-5000. I'll talk to you in the next video.